such a filthy groove. And I know that some of you will be like, you'd get fired and blah, 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 and you'll never be able to play. I'll explain when you could actually use this groove in just a little bit. First of all, YouTubers, I just want to say I'm sorry for the massive break. I'm sure you got used to the weekly uploads. Actually, I was doing two videos a week for a little while. But then about a month ago, I got COVID. It wasn't too bad. I was fine. I had all my vaccinations and boosters. So it wasn't too bad, but I did get kicked out of the house and I was stuck at the Lake Natoma Inn, which is the hotel that our campers stay at. So I was quarantining for a while. And then basically right around the time I got my first negative test, a day later, I was flying to the UK drum show and doing all of that. So it's just been a chaotic month. Now I'm prepping for drum camps, which start in two days. And that is why I wanted to get you this lesson. All right, so the peppermint groove. I didn't misspell it. I didn't misspell it 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, when I uploaded the first peppermint groove, As far as the name, it's, it was just some Cali slang. At the time, when you would play something spicy for somebody and you didn't even know what you did, somebody would say, oh, what was that thing? And you would just say, that's just a little peppermint for the kids, like just giving the kids a little candy. And so that's where the peppermint groove came from. Then recently, I was filming with my boy Zach, the guy that does all the gimbal work for me. And I played this little thing in between some takes and he said, oh, what was that? And I just naturally said, that's just a little peppermint, a little peppermint for the kids. And that's when I was like, Peppermint 2.0, I gotta share this with people, so let's break this thing down. We'll do it eight notes at a time. First eight notes, not too bad. We've got inverted double strokes between the ride and the hi-hat, and the bass drum follows the ride cymbal. Now the second group of eight notes, a little bit more complicated, so please be patient with yourself when you're learning this stuff. It is only eight notes long, but learn these in blocks and just, like I said, go slow, be patient with yourself. So we've got snare, hat, 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 snare, snare, snare. But check it out, snare, right, right, then the left comes from the underneath and shook it boop, then a right, and then you're down to the snare. So I'll play it nice and slow, I'll loop it for you. You can watch from the overhead, you can watch from the side angle, just take your time with it. Now the reason I played those eight notes twice as long as the previous eight notes is because that, that pattern's a little bit more complicated. So give yourself some time, be patient with yourself. You do not have to learn this in five minutes. Social media is a lie. The reality is this is gonna take some time. All right, the next eight notes. So this is the downbeat of three, one E and a one E and a two E and a two E and a three. Now we've got that same kind of inverted double stroke thing happening, but instead of doing it between the cymbals, we're doing it between bass drum and floor tom. And great news, the last eight notes, it's the same as that second grouping of eight notes. So basically beats two and four are exactly the same, and beats one and three are these inverted double stroke little variations or orchestrations. Pretty cool stuff. So I'm gonna play the groove extremely slow, 40 beats per minute. I'm gonna play it on loop for a little bit. You can watch it the first time. You don't have to try to play it with me, but then eventually you wanna be able to jump in and play it with me. So yes, it's a very dense groove, 
but in all honesty, it's not that bad if you just learn it eight notes at a time. Now, goal tempo on this one, I think it lives somewhere between 70 and 85 BPM. 85, it starts to get pretty crushed. So I'm gonna choose 80 BPM as the goal tempo for this video. I'm gonna play it for you, just so you can hear it in its entirety. And I want you to notice that a lot of times beats two and four, those are the ones that I take maybe a little bit of liberty with. Sometimes there's some open hi-hats, sometimes the orchestration changes just a little bit. The, the two inverted parts, so beats one and three, the ride cymbal and hi-hat and the kick and the floor tom, those always stay exactly the same. But I've got a little bit of flexibility in beats two, or four, two and four, so please don't freak out if you're like, but you opened the hi-hat and it's not in the notation. It's like, we gotta have a little bit of expression here. It's peppermint, peppermint for the kids. All right, now before we wrap this whole thing up, we gotta talk about the practicality. When would you ever use this groove? Will you get fired for using this groove? You'll never get fired for a groove, ever. You'll get fired for choosing to play a certain groove. You get fired for choices, not for grooves. Grooves don't get fired. It's like saying a drum set is loud. A drum set is not loud. We are loud and we make this instrument loud. I'm gonna get off my soapbox. When would you use this groove? I think it actually is practical, to be totally honest. When? Well, what about like a function gig where they introduce the band and you're just playing this. On drums, please welcome Mr. Mike Johnson. On keys tonight, we got Jason Schmeckenmeyer. It's like, okay, cool. It's not a drum solo, it's still got some pocket. By the way, I'm sorry I didn't turn off my vocal mic during that. Hopefully it didn't just completely distort your speakers. But yeah, like I would totally use that there. It's got a little bit of, well, it's got a lot of spice. So it's like, these things are practical. But the other thing that people seem to leave out, especially like bitter drum teachers, is, oh yeah, it's fun. Isn't that okay? Aren't we allowed to have fun on this instrument? Shouldn't we be pushing for that? Pushing for joy all the time? Like. Hey, why are you working on that crazy complicated groove? Uh, Cause I like it, cause it brings me joy. Yeah, valid reason, check mark from your teacher. I think that's awesome. Just because I have a gig that does this 99% of the time, doesn't mean I'm not allowed to play a fun groove cause I want to. So if you like this stuff, go for it, have fun with it. I trust you to be responsible. I highly doubt you're gonna go one, two, three, here it comes. <laughs> and just go bananas like so it's like you know when to do this you know when not to do this but like I said th those moments where some of the gigging drummers freeze up a little bit and they get introduced on drums we've got and you're like oh no 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 please don't introduce me now it's like well this is a cool groove to play in that moment so if you enjoyed watching this lesson I hope you will go practice it that's where the growth is going to happen not just watching a YouTube video you have to practice so practice this get it down if you choose to upload it on Instagram or something tag me in your stories I'd love to see you play it but until next time, go practice.